This is my second video on the series of landscapes. If you haven't watched the first video then you need to watch that video first in order to understand the basics of a landscape. The link for the video is in the description box and in the i button. In this video we will pay more emphasis on the textures of the ground. I will be using cartridge sheet and artist watercolors. If you want to know more about the materials then click on the i button and watch my video gathering things. I have discussed in details about the materials you should use while painting. We will be using wet on wet technique for the sky. Apply water on the surface of the sheet. Don't rub the brush aggressively on the paper. Be tender while painting the sky. Remember to use the brush with its tip. I am using gamboge hue and cobalt blue for the sky. Since our main focus is on the ground, we will paint the sky in a simple way and give it a second coat after the first layer dries. This will make the color spongy and attractive. Apply thick color in the starting and as you move down, increase the ratio of water in the colors to give it a fading look. Use a tissue to soak the extra water of the brush. Now give it a second coat using wet on dry technique. Now, let's start with the ground. Apply lemon yellow on the base. Since it is an evening scene, we will use sap green to show light effect. This is our first layer and it will be a little watery. Use two containers, one for washing the brushes and the other for diluting the colors. I like to keep water for washing the brushes off camera because it is a big container and occupies a large amount of space on the table. Merge sap green and lemon yellow using a wet brush. Now Add the patches on the ground to give it a mountainous look. The dark shade of sap green is created by mixing sap green with ultramarine blue. You can use any blue instead. It's not necessary to use ultramarine.
The objects at a distance are not clear, so use watery colors for the area near the caves. Now take a wet flat brush and merge the lines. You can see its outcome. The land had become textured. Using sap green with ultramarine blue.
To paint the caves, I am using burnt sienna. Apply a watery base of burnt sienna on the rocks. Now use burnt sienna to make lines like this and merge it using a wet brush. It will help you in giving a dimensional look to the rocks and will make it look realistic also. Now add grasses to the land, this will increase the realism of your painting. You need to practice grasses a lot to gain its naturalness. If you want, then I can make a separate video for the grasses. Let me know your views in the comment section. As you can see, there are some spots in the sky. To remove this, I will give another layer of blue similar to the previous one. Now, I'm adding some grasses in lemon yellow to highlight it. Now, I'm adding orange and red flowers in it to make it look ornamental.
Since it is an evening scene, I am adding a moon in the sky using a white pen. I've already discussed about it in my previous video in this series. Therefore, I won't be elaborating much. But yes, it is a pen which all of you must have. My previous video contained a secret tip at the end, but this video got a bit longer. Therefore, I won't be sharing any of my tips, but I'll try my best to share it next time in my video. Till then, good luck to all my painters out there.